I'm seven years old. Gimme, 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 gimme. Touch every single button. And here I want to ride it and I want to climb on it. I want to see the axles and hoses and pressure gauges. Does it have a ladder? I want to uh, axes. Do you want your kid interested in cars? Fire trucks speak to the child in all of us. I mean, why do kids like fire trucks so much anyway? I did. Is it about the size? Is it just a case of the toys having parts you can manipulate? Is it the noise? The sirens? The horns? The bells? <laughs> that herald the arrival of a team with just about the coolest name when you were a little kid? Fire fighters. They fight fire. And not in the way your mom fights fire by mocking your dad's dick size when he complains about her flat chest. Not in the way your sister fights fire by ripping your brother's favorite toy after he pukes on her new blouse. These people suit up like Ghostbusters and hop inside a steel monolith and declare war on combustion itself. They united kids from all walks of life under the dancing red lights of a hulking steel giant. The kid who grows up to be a nuclear physicist could bond with the kid who grows up to have a mirrored ceiling for sex purposes. The little kid wearing Crocs and socks finally has something in common with the bully who's secretly terrified of the police sketches on unsolved mysteries. Fire trucks are a social adhesive when you're five years old, and it doesn't really matter why kids like fire trucks, only that they do. It says a lot about their effect on society that they inspire so much wonder across generations. Fire trucks date all the way back to ancient Greece when they were basically just water pumps that got wheeled into where they were needed. Over 1,500 years later, we had horse-drawn versions of them in Europe. And in the early 20th century, we saw the birth of fire trucks as we would come to know them. This is a 1982 Han HCP-10 pumper truck. And it's a classic vehicle, over 25 years old. You can own one of these privately and just... Drive it around. Yeah, this is a personal vehicle. How do you like that? So a pumper truck is uh, the type of fire truck which connects to the fire hydrant or river or pond or lake or whatever water source you have. And it sucks the water into itself, pressurizes it, which is a misnomer. I know water doesn't compress. Anyway, and pumps it out the hoses and puts out the fire. You ever use a pressure washer? Ever use a super soaker? Same principle here, just upscaled. Han Motors was a fire service builder from Hamburg, Pennsylvania. They were in business from 1916 to 1989. They manufactured their own chassis. They weren't just a coach builder or an upfitter. They were known to take their time with trucks and delivered a very high quality piece of equipment. In the 1970s, they reached peak production, which was about 100 trucks a year. Han means rooster in German. Meh. This is a big red cock coming right down your street. Get the fuck out of my way. This Han is powered by a Detroit Diesel 8V71N. That is a 568 cubic inch or 9.3 liter V8 diesel. The N suffix means two things. One, it's naturally aspirated. And two, it has four exhaust valves per cylinder. Four exhaust valves per cylinder. How about the intake valves? None. Why? It's a two-stroke. This is a 9.3 liter two-stroke diesel. The engine RPM is governed to 2,450. But again, it's a two-stroke. Every time that piston comes up, ha wham It has a top speed of 65. And when you're riding in this thing, it is loud. Loud enough that it will cause hearing loss uh, for an extended period. Uh, hearing loss is uh, caused by cumulative damage, and this engine is very loud. So if you need to drive this, you do need to wear ear protection. And it's also very hard to talk to each other in here. I mean, on top of that, this is an 80s fire truck, and there isn't much sound deadening. Imagine having bells and whistles and the siren wailing away all the time. This engine is just pegged at its governor. And then you get to the scene of the emergency and have to go to work. 
Well, this engine still stays running at about 2000 RPM because it has the power take off and that is what runs the pump. Can this fire truck fight fires now? No, it, it's not. It's just a demonstration piece and it's made for parades. Oh, by the way, this beer case sitting on the back, don't worry, that thing's bolted to the fender. It's one of those things you drive along, people come up to the side, say, hey, your case of beer is about to fall over. Nah. Nah, no, it's, it's bolted there. Remember that RV I drove? This is harder to drive than that. It's hard to stay in my lane. It's hard to know where my lane ends. The owners were telling me, look, if there's no one coming, yeah, just move into the center of the road a little bit. And people do just get out of your way. We, we didn't, we weren't running lights. We weren't running the siren. The thing is all fire trucks kind of look the same. Even classic ones. You're like, oh, fire truck, mm, getting out of the way. There were lots of switches in here and I wanted to press every single one of them. Acceleration is, eh. You put the foot to the floor, let the engine do everything. Braking is very good. It has a Jacobs braking system, which is a compression brake, and it's set to really engage the moment you let off the throttle. And that's a good thing because this thing's heavy, and especially with loaded down with a, a crew and gear and everything, it would take a while to stop this hunk of metal. It holds five people, three in the cab and two in the jumper seats, which is our outdoor seats, which uh, saddled the engine facing backwards. Again, ear protection. You are right next to this engine. Ugh. It's kind of fun riding in the back. It's also very hot because that engine is just belching out heat everywhere. Fire trucks, I, what are what are modern ones like? Honestly, this is the first one, and this is not very comfortable at all. Presumably, your uh, your adrenaline is pumping when you're going to the scene of an emergency. So I don't think you're thinking about creature comforts. There is a very giddy sense of childhood joy to really drive a fire truck. To know that you are a welcome sight. A fire truck is the best part of someone's worst day. Do you want your kid interested in cars? Well, get him a truck on Christmas. Red fire truck on Christmas. Get him a truck on Christmas and hope that he is interested. for any gender.